Let the soul easy, let the hairs crown. Take my hand, mama, we're going to town. I made all the bread for the last 43 years. I think I'm the only one that's ever made. I just fill in on the weekend. I host, um, I've done every job here, even cooking. It's really just hosting, fashion. So we have been coming down here forever, but legitimately working 60, and I'm 63. <laughs> It's, it's literally my second home. The way people relate to each other, people come in, they're happy to be here. Um, we have a really good way set who knows what they're doing. It's such a big part of my life. I mean, I just, just, uh, just, it's hard to say. I mean, pretty much everything customers, food, employees, most of the time. It just feels comfortable. It's a comfortable place. You know, a lot of people come here with their families. So it's just a nice place to be, a second home. Almost. Well, it's kind of like my identity. I mean, I, it's just my dad, my mom, um, the memories. It's going to be weird not seeing this building. A lot of memories. I couldn't count. A lot of memories, you know, being with people here, working around, and you know, interacting with everybody. Yeah, I'm here seven days a week, 14 hours a day, you know, 43 years. I have a lot with my, when I used to work with my dad until he passed, and then my mom. Um, now I have uh, my son. I well, have a lot of family members here, so I'm working with my son, my brother in law, my nieces, my nephews, my sister, my wife sometimes. So I mean, it's just a, it's like a family. It's like working with your family. My mom was Pat, Angela and Pat. Did you ever hear A and P's grocery store? I would always tell people I was going shopping at A and P's, and I'd come down here. So I never was. I never starved. Was it mean for community? Obviously, it means a lot, a lot more than I thought it did. For like the last mom and pop like thing, other than maybe a few downtown. Uh, you know, it's hard to put into words. A lot of people love us. Um, history, generations, the stories that are coming in are incredible. Um, just, um, a you know, bringing in their grandchildren, and then you know, it, it all started with them meeting here, and then they had kids, and then their kids had kids. Oh, I think it's huge. I think this is going to be a, a huge void. I don't think people are going to realize I think they realize the impact but actually feeling it once it's gone is going to be pretty dramatic. Yeah, I'm getting letters from people that are telling stories about how they met their wives in here, how they fell in love in here, well, met students that were in here after you know the rounds or, or, or shifts. I mean it's just been an you know, un unbelievable amount of stories that people have been sending to me and telling me. Before my mom passed, she said, when people come into Angelo's, make sure they feel like they're coming, they're, they're at home. So, um, I try to do that. But what makes me happy, that's not hard to get to, it's just eggs over easy hash browns and you will go to Angelo's. Cause the place really hops, we'll go to Angelo's, where the service is.